all you lovely kings, queens, and in-betweens, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Elaine, and today I'm going to be talking about Pandania's new manga, Cthulhu Cat. In this manga, a totally average Japanese high school student stumbles across an abandoned cat in a cardboard box. Innocent enough, right? Well, maybe not when the cat has tentacles where the whiskers should be. But hey, what's the worst that could happen? Spoiler, a lot. So our guy takes this little cosmic kitty home, and guess what? Without a single elder sign on the cat door, he's practically asking for trouble. Soon, the whole Mythos crew starts wandering in, paws and all. Picture furry versions of Hoster, yogg sothoth Naralatep, and a whole lineup of Lovecraftian horrors, all with extra claws, all adorably destructive and all trying to make themselves at home. Between the mind-blasting secrets they meow and their reality-warping antics, his life spirals from ordinary to a chaotic spectacle that might even make the Great Old Ones sigh in exasperation. In case it wasn't already clear, today we're diving into the Eldritch, the Ominous, and the downright adorable with Cthulhu Cat. Yes, you heard me right. Our favorite cosmic horror has taken a new form, and it's fluffy, has four paws, and probably knocked over your water glass on purpose. Now imagine this. Instead of a towering, tentacled god bringing madness to the world, we have a tiny, fuzzy overlord who demands head scratches and the occasional bowl of food. This little feline terror looks like it's fresh out of a pet adoption pamphlet from another dimension, with eyes that stare right into your secret soul and a purr that sounds suspiciously like chanting. Cthulhu Cat leans into every horror trope, but twists it into something almost, almost too cute to be afraid of. But don't be fooled. It's not all whiskers and belly rubs. This kitty has a serious dark side. One moment, you're giving it chin scritches, and the next, you're rendered unconscious by the scent of its toe beans. Coincidence? I think not. The best part? Cthulhu Cat is unapologetically absurd. The manga takes every chance to play on the dramatic irony of a cosmic creature in a cat's body. It specs scenes where a little Cthulhu lurks in the shadows only to emerge with a look that says, I know what you did last night, mortal. And yes, it absolutely judges you every time you reach for a can that isn't its food. Whether you're a fan of horror or just looking for something that'll make you laugh with its ridiculous yet oddly charming take on Lovecraftian lore, Cthulhu Cat is a hilarious, fluffy ride into the unknowable abyss. Just don't be surprised if your own cat starts eyeing you suspiciously after a binge read. And there you have it, my review of Cthulhu Cat. What did you think of my review? Did I leave anything out? What is your favorite Lovecraft story? Who is your favorite old one? Let me know down below in the comments. I always like to know what you lovely kings, queens, and in-betweens think. And if you like what you saw here today, please smash that like button until it's blue. Subscribe, ring that bell so you always know what's up, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys!